in this sequence, for example, here, you see we have a movement, you know, we have some things going and happening, right? And let's say maybe there's a, like a long tracking shot or something like that. So what I can do is I can then click here on this little tag and it says frame of interest, right? And it gives me straight away, what is my darkest shot? What is my brightest shot, right? What is the best match to reference? What is the worst match to reference? <laughs> and, and you know, and what's the frame that I set as my reference frame? I mean, and you know what? This is going to save you so much time because sometimes, you know, you have to play clip through to see what's going on. And for example, you can just say, no, I want my brightest frame to match closest, you know, to particular, you know, reference. And I can just press this to be my target and it's going to recalculate for the brightest to be matched. And same thing here. Look, I can say, okay, show me my darkest frame. Oh, it's this one, my brightest. Oh, my brightest is like a really matching really nicely. Why don't I actually go and set the brightest to be my target? Let's see. Bam, it's just adjusts it a little bit. But you say, no, no, actually, you know what? No, I think I want this frame to match closer. And then you can say, oh, give me this target. And it just lifts it a little bit so it matches best to that.